You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Blip Toys for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, ready to do some explosive science. But we want to say thanks to... <laughs> Blip Toys for sending us this set. Thank you, Blip Toys. Build a full inner rocket and make fizzy bombs. There is a 36-page educational book. He looks like he's having a lot of fun. Uh -huh. We will see. Let's check the back of the box. That's where we're going to get all of the pertinent information. Here we go. How to make an awesome rocket from a chemical reaction. I like that one. Uh -huh. How to make fizzy bombs. Hmm. I wonder how you make fizzy bombs. <laughs> yeah. How to make a fun explosive bag. How to create a colorful explosion. Yeah. How to pierce a balloon without it popping. How to make bubbling, oozing foam. Ooh, I think we should do bubbling, oozing foam. Mm -hmm. That sounds like fun. All right, so you see the kit contents in the bottom right corner, and then everything that's in the kit is pictured in the center. But I think we, well, 25 experiments. I don't think oh, we're wow. going to do 25. How about we pick two out of this, okay. and then we'll do them now. And when we come back, then we will get this out of the package, check out all the pieces, and get ourselves situated. All right, Elise, I made you a nice little pool tab there. Go for that. Let's get the plastic off. There you go. It looks like we got to spin this this way. Oh, here we go. Let's check out all the pieces. Ooh, okay. So the tray, we recognize a tray like that. We did that kind of from another set. What do you have there? Okay, I have safety goggles. Safety goggles. All the ingredients. All the ingredients. There's a little sticker sheet. Okay, wow, lots of stuff, huh? Should I open it up? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Last time you did the popping on that one. Go ahead, give that one a nice little... <laughs> Hard to do on that one. Okay, balloons and lots of little tools here, all kinds of stuff. What is this? Kaboom! It's like a poster. You probably can oh, yeah. color it. And there's the instructions. All right, so we got lots of balloons. Yes. You got all the chemicals. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, we don't have to supply much, which is nice. Maybe just yeah. the water. We'll have to read those instructions and see. Plenty of little pipettes, mm -hmm. little tubes, a funnel, all kinds of little cups, a lid to something, I don't know what yet, and this, oh, a candle. A candle. Hmm. <laughs> we both wondered. We can burn <laughs> something, ah. Mm -hmm. And then some paper, okay, and then that's our tray. We used that as our tray last time. Mm -hmm. And here is the booklet. Build a fun rocket and make fizzy bombs. Hmm. Well, I say we scan this booklet right now. There's some safety rules, general information. Dear parents and guardians, if you want to read that. Okay. List of chemicals supplied. That helps. There's a warning on the citric acid. Oh, yes. Safety rules, general first aid information, disposal of chemicals. There's everything in your kit. Round filter paper. See, that was in there. I didn't notice that. Mm. And then, okay, that lists everything, the different chemicals. Did you know the science? That science can also be explosive. Scientists look at the symbol below. It's used to indicate places where danger of explosion exists. Mm. Stay far away. Okay, so I'll tell you what. We will, well, I'll just leaf through this. If anybody does want to take the time to pause and read any of this, they can. But did you know that the color of a flame indicates its intensity? Intensity, not intestiny. <laughs> a stove flame is blue and a candle flame is yellow. The blue color means that the flame is more intense than the yellow one. Oh, Ooh, I did, did you not know, know that. that water is not capable of extinguishing every kind of fire? Yes, it will not extinguish an oil fire very well. They use foam stuff for that. Oxidized coins. Okay, here we go. Oh, material clue. This oh, color explosion. <laughs> oh, the dance of colors. Okay, so we are now getting into the experiments. Chromatography. Chromatography 2. Comets of M&Ms. Fizzy bombs. Ooh, that sounds good, a fizzy bomb. Yes, it does. Let's see. Okay, all right, so I'll tell you what. We will finish scanning the booklet. And then we will come back. Oh, that's what the paper's for. Mm. It's kind of a, an origami. Origami, yeah. Oh, so you put the chemicals inside of it and it probably pops. Mm. Pop. Oh, that paper's for something else. 
With a sheet of paper folds and explained, it becomes more resistant to withstand the water. When you throw your mini bomb, the energy created with the impact forces the water to come out and bomb explodes. Okay, so that's for part of an experiment. Lava lamp. Okay, lots of stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll decide based on what we have here, and then we will come back, and then we will do one of two of these experiments. Are you ready, assistant? You mean I'm your assistant? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. All right. I will gladly take on the responsibilities of assistant. Now, we've decided to prep our egg. Mm -hmm. Why, may you ask? Why? Because it's just easier to do that off camera and have it ready. Because we've had plenty of fails. And yes, we have. It's all done now. All right. So, the egg is done. All right, so your assistant is going to read the instructions and then you okay. carefully separate the egg white from the egg yolk. Egg yolk. Okay, there you go. Check. Thank and you. that is done. Now pour half of the egg white into the tall glass. Okay. Here. Half of the egg white into the tall glass. Do your best. I don't think it matters if it's too much. There you is go. That, that was perfect. Yay. Then just put it. Place the glass in the bowl. Okay. Okay, now, Set that aside. with the small measuring cup, measuring cup, check, <laughs> measure 25 milliliters of water into the glass. Okay. Let's see. That's right at the top, yeah, maybe place the cup on the table oh, yeah. and just pour it, yeah, there you go. Be better. Thank you, assistant. Right. The assistant must help in every way possible, <laughs> yes. so 25 is almost all the way up to the top. Really there you go. Shaky. That's all right. We're done with the water now. Okay. Now what do I do? It says, pour into the glass. Okay. Here, I'll hold this up so you're not... Oh, okay, thank you. That'll make it easier for you. There we go. Okay, I'll need that measuring cup are again. Are we going to need this again? Yes, we okay. are. Okay, you need that. With the plastic spatula... Plastic spatula? <laughs> check! <laughs> All right, add two spoons of sodium bicarbonate. There's your sodium bicarbonate. I'll get the cap off for you. Thank there you go. Sodium bicarbonate. Okay. So right into the glass. Make them big heaping, yeah, big heaping spoonfuls. Okay. Here, let me help you out. Okay, thank you. You're One. always there when I need you. Two. Okay, two. Let me see. Yeah, nice and big. There we okay, go. there we go. Now that you need to mix. Here's the cap for that. Always recap. Wooden mixer. Okay, check. Got it. Hey, I do the check. <laughs> okay. All right, let's move it into the camera a little bit nicer there. Ooh, you can feel it's kind of like. Is it starting tough. to? Is it? Yeah. Okay, get it, yeah, get it good there. With the eyedropper. Eyedropper. Check. Put in. Three drops of food coloring. Okay. All right, now you chose red. You just thought that would be a good color, right? Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Food coloring, check. Ooh, that's Ooh, a lot. Yes. One, One two, two, three. three. Ooh, we'll put a few more in. Okay. Why not? Four, Four five, five, six. six. Yeah, that's good. Okay, are we going to need this again? Uh, We are done with that, I believe, so okay. you can... Here, I'll cap it up for you. you know, it's hard to do with those gloves yeah, on. Yeah, it is. Okay. It does not say mix it. It just says oh. with the eyedropper, add three juices from the mixture. Okay. With the small measuring cup, measure 25 mil of vinegar. Small measuring cup? Oh, sorry. There <laughs> it's you go. Okay. And look at that. Beautiful cup. Hey, it matches Thanks. your gloves real nice. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. 25, so 25. ml, right at the yes. top again. Okay, nice. All right, it says pour into the glass. Whoa, wait. What? Let's not do it just yet. Let's okay. set up the camera a little bit better, and then you can pour it in the glass. See, okay. what an assistant. Yes. Okay, we are back. This is exciting now. Are you ready to pour in your vinegar to see yes. what the reaction is? Yes. All right, hopefully it's so dramatic we won't know what to say. Go ahead. Okay. Here we go. And a one. <laughs> and a two. And a three. Pour. Cool. 
Ooh, it's almost coming over the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks a little bloody, doesn't it? Yeah. Now that's cool. Alright, not as cool as we thought, huh? Mm -hmm. It was still cool to see, but yeah. how about we do this? Pour a little bit more vinegar in there and we'll see if that makes a difference. Okay. Oh, well, now it's working. There you go. Yep. Keep going. Yes, we want it to ooze over the top. There we go. That's cool. See, I wanted to put more sodium bicarbonate yeah. in there not just the two i would have put six scoops in but yeah you might need it for other experiments Ooh, it's like one of those snakes the way it's slowly oh, yeah. coming out mm -hmm. there it goes it's gonna plop plop plop, plop. <laughs> there it just plopped you can see there's still liquids on the bottom yeah look at that it's pink mm -hmm. hmm I'm not sure what the egg white does in there yeah i know does it say? No, it doesn't say. Hmm. All right, well, I'll tell you what. We are now moving on to experiment number two. We haven't picked it out yet, so we'll do that. We'll come back, and we'll try another experiment. All right, we are back. You've got your gloves on. Yes. Ready to go? Uh-huh. All right, so the last experiment, eh, I yeah. think I needed a little bit more of the sodium bicarbonate. It would have exploded a lot more. Yeah. But we uh, we probably need to conserve for the rest of the experiments. But we are now going to do magic potion. We thought that sounded yes. good. Okay, step one. Ask an adult to upgrade 35 milliliters hot tap water. Check. <laughs> there you go. Here you go. Hot tap water. Okay. That goes into the large measuring cup. Go ahead, pour that in. Wow, nice job pouring. Thank okay, you. we're done with that. Uh -huh. And then now we need 10 milliliters of vinegar. Check. Okay, Put that in goes in. Too? Yep. Okay. Now here's where you can add the color. Now you wanted to do blue, right? Yes. Okay, so we're switching it up from red to blue. Oh, that's a pretty yeah. color. Yeah, it is. All right, and then it says uh, some droplets, so whatever you want okay. to put in there. Oh, that is so pretty. I put four. That's good. I'll put the lid back on for you. You know, it's hard to work with those gloves on. Yeah. Now, it says add 40 milliliters of oil to the mixture. Okay. Let's check. Nice, your assistant got that all measured out for <laughs> yes, you. Yes, you did. Thank you. Okay. Put it now in. watch, the oil stays at the... Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'll get you another perspective here, everybody. So you can see it as it stays to the top. Okay, go for it. I'm going to be trained out of the way. Wow. Okay, look at that. It's sort of lava lampy, isn't it? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, now the oil is at the top. Now they want us to. Okay, so the oil stays at the surface, and you can see that the vinegar and water are in different layers. Now, with the plastic spatula, add two spoons of sodium bicarbonate to the mixture and see what happens. What happened to your potion? Is it truly magic? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's a chemical reaction. Mm hmm. When you complete the experiment, throw away all food products used. Okay, the sodium bicarbonate moves slowly in the oil until it reaches the vinegar. Here, it reacts with the acetate acid of the vinegar, giving off carbon dioxide. It is the gas that creates the effervescent bubble that you can see in the potion. As it is a gas, it bubbles through the liquid of the solution. Can you hear the sound? This sound is typical of effervescent chemical reactions. All right. Okay. Sodium bicarbonate. Check. There you go. Thank you. And then, oh, yeah, it's got the yes. push-sensitive lid. I could do this. You got to keep squeezing. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Now it says add two spoons. Okay. There you go. Thank you. We'll see if we get any reaction. 
One. One. Oh, cool. It's going down. Oh, yeah. I better hurry up. Yeah. Okay, we'll just watch this go now. Yeah, listen to the sound. Yeah. Now that one's really fizzing on the top. Mm -hmm. Give everybody a, a quick top-down look. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Now that one was cool. Yeah. Let's see if we can show everybody a little bit better. All right, go ahead, drop another one in and we can watch it. Okay. It's like a snake in there. Yeah, it is. Oh, cool. I like that. All right, we'll let that fizz just a little bit. We'll come back now and recap both of our experiments. All right, how was that for our explosive science kit? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Experiment number one, eh, yeah. Yeah. didn't work too good for us. Experiment, oh, the explanation for experiment number one. Remember I asked about the egg? There was it right yeah. there. An egg white isn't only oh. used to make delicious desserts. It can also work to fixate the gas form during an experiment. When you add the vinegar, a great amount of colored foam is formed, okay? Okay. So that was that. Experiment number two, that's a big yeah. thumbs up. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. So overall, well, I'll tell you what. Let everybody in the comments decide. We'll put a poll up which one they liked more than the other. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot more experiments. We didn't really have anything explosive like yeah. popping or anything. Maybe one day we'll come back and do that, depending on what people say. Yeah. And thanks for watching. Well, wait a minute. Oh, before we go, <laughs> we decided to do a repeat of the first experiment. Yes. But we kind of fudged a little with the ingredients this time. Mm -hmm. So let's watch that. That was much better. Later! Bye! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up!